Hey there! In this video, I will explain why this delete CR error occurs and provide some ways you can fix it. Let's get started. The delete CR error occurs when there are inconsistent line endings in your code. This is because files created on Linux and macOS typically use line feed or LF, represented as backslash N, while files created on Windows often use carriage return plus line feed represented as backslash r backslash n as line endings. Now let's see how we can fix the error. Throughout the video, I will be using pnpm as a package manager. If you are using a different package manager, don't forget to adjust the commands accordingly. So I'm going to run pnpm eslint full stop to show the errors ESLint can fix. To fix the errors in the entire project, run p npm ESLint dash dash fix and full stop. And as you can see, I no longer have the error in here, but let's also check another file. And this one seems okay as well. If you don't want to run ESLint for all the files in your project, and you would rather run it only for specific files, you can add a script to the package.json file. Here I have a script that tells ESLint to run on all the TypeScript files in the source, apps, libs, test directories and their sub-directories and automatically fix any issues it can. We can run this script by pnpm-lint. And as you can see, I no longer have the error. Let's check the other files as well. And the error is gone. Another way you can fix the error is by configuring the .prettierrc file. This is a configuration file for Prettier, a code formatting tool that helps enforce consistent coding styles across a project. By using this file, you can customize how Prettier should format your code, such as indentation, line length, quotes, and other formatting styles. Inside this file, add the following line of code. End of line, and this time let's choose auto. You can also choose LF if you want. I'm just going to go with auto right now. Let's go back to our file and as you can see the error is still here. If you are using VS Code like me and the setting doesn't go away, make sure to press Ctrl Shift P to open the command panel and run the developer reload window command. Alright, now let's wait for a moment. And as you can see, the error is now gone. Awesome. Keeping the same approach, the .ator config file can also help you eliminate the error. .ator config is used to maintain consistent coding styles across different ators and IDEs. If you don't have this file at the root of your project, you can create it manually. Or if you are using the editor config VS Code extension, you can easily create the file by right-clicking in the Explorer section of the VS Code and selecting Generate that editor config option. 
This will auto generate a handful of widely used configurations, one of which is this end of line set to CRLF. Now let's change it to LF, save the file, and of course you can remove any auto generated settings or just keep them all. Now let's go back to our file. All you have to do to fix the error is save the file. And as you can see, the error is now gone. Let's move to other files as well and save them so that we can fix the error in here as well. Lastly, I've mentioned VS Code throughout this video, so I couldn't miss bringing it up as a way to fix the error. Go to the bottom right of the window when it says CRLF, click this and then choose LF. Now just save the file. This will automatically fix the file you currently have open, but it doesn't fix the other files within the project, as you can see here. So you would have to change each file manually, which is not that great if you're working on a project that has a lot of files. Another thing you could do is to open the settings by pressing down control and comma and search for files EOL, which stands for end of line, and then choose the uh, backslash and setting. Additionally, you can use the setting by adding the following line of code into your settings.json file. this one right here. Well, now note that this setting will only work for new files you create and not for existing ones. So if I'm going to create a new file, as you can see right here, I have the LF end of line sequence and not CRLF. All right, I hope that by reaching the end of this video, you were able to fix the error and maybe even enjoyed it or learn something new. If you know other ways to fix the delete CR error, or if you're still having trouble with it, leave me a comment below. I read all the comments and I will do my best to help you out. Also, consider checking out the other tutorials from this channel. Wishing you a wonderful day and I look forward to catching you in the next one.